Every year, many babies are born with congenital heart diseases such as structural heart defects or heart rhythm problems. Some will be known these years after birth and some right after being born. Now imagine how much better it would be if we had diagnosed these medical issues before birth and had prevented them with early treatment. Nowadays, one of the most common approaches in monitoring the ECG is ultrasound systems, which only tracks the fetus' heart rate. On the other hand, electrocardiogram called ECG tracks electrical signals of the heart's contractions and also can provide us with lots of useful additional information. So from a clinical point of view, monitoring the ECG signal would be so useful as an alternate or a complement to the ultrasonic approaches. Now a few questions appear. How can we obtain the fetal ECG? Instead of simple as attaching electrodes to the chest and limbs, the way we do for an adult ECG? Of course not. The fetus is in utero and we do not have access to it. To capture the fetal ECG, there are two ways, one invasive and the other non-invasive. In the invasive approach, we attach electrodes to the fetus's scalp during delivery, but that can be risky. In the non-invasive approach, we attach electrodes to the modern abdomen. However, this approach has its own difficulties. The most significant challenge in capturing the fetal ECG is not only its low power, but also a variety of noises and interference. My business research makes use of different signal processing techniques in order to extract the fetal ECG. I apply different electronic filters to ECG signals to remove most of the noises in the captured signal. Additionally, I analyze these signals in time and frequency domains in order to extract the fetal ECG more clearly. I tried my best to make high quality, clear signals that are valuable in medical diagnosis in order to pave the way for the doctors to detect these fetal heart abnormalities before birth for a faster and earlier medical or surgical intervention. This will improve the chance of survival after delivery for babies with serious heart disease. I hope one day we will eradicate heart disease in infants. Thank you.